good early morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlogs. I've enjoyed this video. Come on back tomorrow. We gotta go about where to drop off. Cool little elections headquarters and that little box will be right where our vote goes. We'll be honest, that was kind of the coolest vote. It wasn't as like fun when like traditional sense of like getting in there, getting the butt into the, the, the safety privacy walls and voting, but like it was cool to be able to research at home if I needed to clarify anything. And then to like actually drop it off here. Yeah. That was cool. Feels super secure and like my I feel like more confident in our vote than ever. Yeah, very good get some McDonald's breakfast and hit the road? Yes. All right, it's a little bit before 10. Um, we are in Georgia, filling up our car. Awesome thing about our car, one of the main reasons why we love it so much is we had less than half just under half a tank and we got out of Georgia, or we got out of Florida. Um, but ride's been going smoothly. It's getting a little bit more busy on the roads right now since we've crossed into Georgia, but Sarah helped me. I had to do one report that I forgot to train anybody on before I left, so Sarah actually, I like walked her through it. She did it for me from my laptop, hot spotted off my cell phone. Um, but we're looking good. I think, I'm hopeful that we'll get potentially all the way out of Georgia almost all the way to Nashville on this tank. So no stopping besides that. It's good. It is vlog editing time for me. First time that we have the laptop for a road trip, which is nice because I don't have to edit on my phone or on the iPad. She's got a ticket to ride. <laughs> Are you feeling good? Yeah, I feel good. I, we brought a ticket to ride. Oh, we did, great. Yeah. It's 10.30. Yeah. I had my five hour energy shot. I think I'll have another latte, which I don't think we showed, but they're so good. La Colombe, vegan, yeah, draft, latte. draft, ultimate first POV <laughs> latte. Um, and I actually enjoy them. I'm not a coffee person, but. I got a four pack. I had one this morning. I had a five hour shot just now. I think I at 12 or 12.30 I'll have another latte. But it's just Whoa. like right now, I don't want to jinx it, but like the roads have been good. Yeah. Um, we pet, we like, raced a really bad like bunch Sorry. of really dark clouds yeah. but I mean we're going through the like south slash midwest yeah if we're yeah. lucky I figure maybe Atlanta around before 1 p.m. or around 1 p.m. yeah pretty, solid. pretty good we are passing through Atlanta one day we'll stop in Atlanta like we are in Nashville tonight to actually our favorite bit, the Olympic torch. Megan. Look at all that construction. Awesome timing, guys. Yes, we are making awesome time. The roads have been good. There's been a lot of cars, but it's been like just consistently moving well. Um, again, knock on wood, if there is any. I don't think, I don't think there is any. Um, but I just looked it up. It looks like we're like less than four hours from that's really awesome. You're kicking butt. And yeah, we gain an hour at the end there. Right. Probably may have not had to have stopped this time, gas wise, but bathroom wise. Too much coffee in my system. the truth. 
true view. Yeah, like before Vista. all the trees were here, you could uh -huh. see the, the lake with the mountains in the background. Yeah. Look at those cooking nation in this car. <laughs> <laughs> we hit a little bit of construction getting into Tennessee. We still have to do like the little dip back into Georgia um, on 24. It says there's some road construction still, but I don't know how much. So fingers crossed that it's over as we go through the mountains. Yeah. But I mean, what's nice, we've been making such good time then. Yeah. We're still like. We're only like an hour and a half, I think, away. Two hours, maybe? Something like that. Which is going to be crazy, because we'll still have like hours of daylight before, like when we get to our Airbnb. Yeah. Which is so unheard of for us. So we got a little rain, but it looked so cool with the mountains and like a little bit of fog, a little bit of clouds. You can see that there, like the yeah. coming, rising from the trees. Right. It's a nice blue sky now. Alrighty, friends. We're like 10 minutes away. Look at that skyline. It is 3.20. We have a whole evening. I know. I do like the national skyline. Yeah. It's, it's a good one. One of the better ones. Not as good as Chicago, but it's good. We are here. Oh, there's CMT. Um, we're here, downtown Nashville. We're walking. We parked a bit of a ways. We parked. Yeah, so we're taking a little rest. We, we parked like half a mile away from our Airbnb because we wanted to park in like a hotel. We ended up parking. We Secure. Yes, With all and our stuff. we got a good. We found it on Parkwiz, Parkwiz for the Hilton Underground Garage. But you could tell that we just walked uphill. <laughs> yeah, so Sarah's taking a break. <laughs> like, oh god. Um, so, and then in the morning, fun. in the morning, I'll just come by myself to get the car. I should. I'm sorry. I should have just dropped you it's off. Okay. But we kind of didn't know where we were going. And we're city walkers. Yeah. Like I didn't know it was gonna be uphill. And I'm also have never been a city walker, and over six months pregnant. So. Yes. But we're making our way to our Airbnb, and then we'll. Have a nice evening. It's four four twelve. We'll give you a tour of our of our Airbnb after we prioritize ordering vegan oh, southern home, home, home comfort food. Um, this right here is so funny to me. And there's another one right there. <laughs> another one. <laughs> this place is like eight hours north of where we live, but it's trying to get off more southern vibes. I think. Nashville is more southern than Florida. <laughs> like not like actually. It is not more southern than Orlando, Florida. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like this is more the Nashville vibe. Florida is more like palm trees. And Tommy Bahama. Tommy Bahama. You wanna give it to her? Sure. Adventure awaits. Look at this cute little table. Look at this. It's actually we didn't know that they had or maybe we just didn't realize that they had a pull. I thought it was just a I didn't realize that there was going to be a bedroom. Well, we're in the right place, I think, because the code they gave us works. Yeah. But on the second floor, look at this little island. It's a cute little apartment. Uh, the bathtub was running when we walked in, so it's fine. It's super cute here. We let the owner know that we can't turn it off, but we're only here for one night, so it's not a big deal. Here's the one bedroom. Super simple. I told Sarah when we were like, got in to relax and cool off, oh, look at that. I'm going to steal that side table. I told Sarah, I was like, it's been a few years since the, our, the place of where we're sleeping sounds like this. But I love it. I love it. And then there's a closet, a bathroom. No, not a bathroom. Washer dryer. Always take the scenic route. But we just ordered some vegan food. Mm -hmm. We're going to wait until it's about to be delivered. Then we're going to meet the person downstairs yeah. outside. And then we're going to walk next door because we're actually right across the street from the Grammy Musicians Hall of Fame. And the Capitol building is right next door. So we're going to meet the Uber Eats delivery guy downstairs outside when they're here and just have a little picnic next door in front of the Capitol building before we go to bed because we're we exhausted. Get back up. And we got to get, get up. Back up room. We're hoping to get back on the road at like six. Yeah. Okay, this is really cute. We keep it local. We like to keep it local. Living local, Nashville. So here's a local guide to music in the music city. Bum, ba -da bum, 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 ba -da bum, 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 bum. Our food finally came after like about an hour, I think. Yeah. We thought we were gonna be able to sit by the Capitol building, like in the little yard or anything, but apparently it's closed. Locked off. Locked off right now. Maybe it's closed at a certain time. So we're at the Supreme Court. Yeah, the Tennessee so Supreme Court. <laughs> we're gonna sit outside of the Supreme Court and eat our dinner. All right, here we go. Here's my Reuben with some chips, looks like. Got a side of home fries, and so I got a side of mac and cheese. What and did you get? I got um, spicy 
fried chicken. Oh, chicken. Satin, I think. Yes. And then and whole home fries and some kind ooh, of chicken sauce. Oh, I think it's ranch. Oh, it smells Delicious. Oh, that's manja. Like real ranch. And we would have found a cuter place to sit if we weren't so hungry. It's, we're, we're celebrating the fact that we voted this morning. We have a <laughs> war memorial building, a state capitol, and a state supreme court. So just, there was a spot where we could have walked up. There was a spot we could have walked up. Oh gosh. And we didn't show up, but there was like a right as we're walking past the front of the Capitol building, a bunch of state troopers came out and we're like, whoa, what's going on? There's like a and camera like, guy and we're like There's a camera guy and those guys getting ready and so we were just like, let's keep walking and find someone else to sit and we see the chain right here around this gate. <laughs> Apparently there were gonna be protests on Capitol Hill today, there were earlier, and then some law changed. Regarding in Nashville regarding protesting and, and paying voting. fees and voting and something. So apparently all the state troopers came out and required like something of the protesters and so they all left. So apparently we just missed a protest <laughs> in Nashville. And we just like stroll. We just stroll by with a bag of food. We're like, hey guys, good evening. <laughs> Wanting to sit on the steps as they were literally like chaining it, locking up the Capitol <laughs> building because of a protest coming. We do enjoy protesting yeah. but it just so happened that we just wanted to sit on a no grassy idea hill that yeah. was going on yeah we're sitting here eating and sarah's like the guy at the camera's still setting up i'm like oh and the state heard, troopers like, are state troopers are still out there then i was like you know what i like whenever i when, when orlando protests were happening i would just go to twitter and search orlando protest and go to latest and see what was going on i was like i'm gonna try that and i searched nashville protest go to latest and twitter and all these people complaining about some new law that they enacted like today or something that basically made it more difficult to vote and more difficult to protest today and there was supposed to be a protest on capitol hill today here in nashville interesting times food is really good food's really good um the sides not as much the yeah. ranch ranch was killer i wish i had more napkins <laughs> so here's a better view of the capitol building and apparently two days ago i saw on twitter there were protesters that locked themselves to that fence right there and apparently i just asked him uh um what is his name a filmer a cameraman? a cameraman from some news agency they're about to do a story about they might get a black lives matter mural painted across the street but they did just pass a few days ago a new ordinance that has increased fines if you camp on government-owned properties and since those people two days ago chained themselves to the fence i guess that qualifies yeah so a little different a lot of the protests have stopped since then yeah, yeah a little different the fines were different vibe oh and this is a war memorial this is pretty fitting to come across there's like the street <laughs> Woolworth was one of the restaurants that there were sit-ins. Lunch counter. The right to protest. A Batman building. That's what we... I'm kind of uncomfortable how close it is. I've always called it when we drove past. I mean, I, I think other people call it that too. This is the most frequent business in all of downtown Nashville. Seriously. <laughs> they have a monopoly. They own everything. Here are all the legends. But where is Walt Disney? Nashville legends, Peter. walking back now to our Airbnb. Um, we went down Broadway, which was like their like big entertainment street. Steven Tyler lives somewhere. Yes, but we are on this river walk here. And as we're walking, we hear a tour guide of a small group and we're like, oh. So I was like, let's, let's follow them. <laughs> and we're walking that direction, we just won't walk right by them. I like history. And he starts talking about how this riverfront park is a, is a giant Native American burial ground. And then he starts going, this, the, the ghost reader starts going off the charts all the time here. <laughs> We're like, wait. You're like a reader. This it's is a ghost a, tour. A ghost tour. <laughs> um, but it was interesting. Like, you guys know we wear the masks and everything. But so I think Nashville has a citywide mandate for masks. I don't think it's statewide. But all down broad, Broadway, there was a bunch of cops, like, keeping everybody safe from the bars and everything. But also I saw a handful of cops with, like, stacks of masks, handing them to anybody who didn't have a mask. So that was cool. And they also extended the sidewalk into the street with, like, parade gates almost so that there was more walking space it's definitely too many people for our comfort to go into any of the bars yes but it was fun to walk by it was fun to walk by and see there's like a fort right here <laughs> what but here's the history center huh. it's, it's early but 
we need we have, still have a long drive ahead of us and Sarah thinks she's gotten to the point guys I'm uncomfortable she thinks she's gotten to the point of pregnancy where she's just uncomfortable right I just don't feel like my typical gusto but guess what that means Baby's James going is gonna soon. be here so soon look at what we found another rocket fizz same company that is on Park Avenue um, it's literally about to downpour <laughs> any the second, it's 8 o'clock on the dot, and there's been crazy lightning, but we're like three blocks away from the Airbnb. I just want to get it, get back before it starts downpouring. <laughs> well, guys. Will we make it? Thankfully, we dodged the rain. We really did. No, yeah, I'll, I'll pause it, I'll pause it, I'll pause it. It started... Downpouring. Yeah, downpouring, but it had just been like drizzling when we were on our walk back um but we've been watching chip and Sir Robert, chip and joanne i don't i don't know who they are i am i've never like gotten into them before but i kind of vibe on them but they're always they were one of like the go-to's for um crm our infertility specialist oh, like, yeah. when we would watch when we would sit in the waiting room like they would always be on so it's like bringing me back to our treatment days yeah um, um it's 9 30 and i'm literally exhausted yeah let's go to bed <laughs> We're gonna get ready to go to bed. Did um, we bring in the calendar? I didn't bring it in, but I took a photo of it because I became prepared. I actually saw it in the trunk and I almost forgot it. And I was like, I don't want to carry that piece of paper just for the one night, half a mile to our Airbnb. <laughs> so I took a photo of it. So today's message is today the 14th. I really hope I took the right date. Yeah. Ooh, it's by Anonymous. Don't get your bank account hacks. <laughs> Focus on the powerful, euphoric, magical, synchronistic, beautiful parts of life and the universe. We'll keep giving them to you. Wow. It is good to be home. It's good to be in Nash. P.S. Miss Eve for life. <laughs> yeah. She's been doing really good. She's she been be playing with, with the cat. The kitty cat. Because she's part cat. We might yeah. have to get a cat. And the cat keeps laying in her bed. Yeah, I don't like that. That's Eve's. <laughs> and last she time, shares. They're sharing I their know, house. But like then when like last time we did this, we only bring one of Eve's bed. We noticed that when if we first got back after the, the Disney vacation that Eve didn't like to lay in her bed, I think because it smelled like the other animals. Yeah. So, it's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>